Be childlike, not childish. This is from the Bhagavad Gita 12.13. The idea of remaining childlike threads its way through essentially all major religions. It's part of the perennial philosophy, the idea that it's the meek, the mild, the humble, the gentle, the pure in heart who are called to enter through the gates of life, and that won't be many. Uh, it's very difficult to remain childlike in the face of this constant deluge of information that we have these days where we see uh, the villainy and corruption that is so pervasive in our systems and institutions it can it can uh, overwhelm us and uh, it's so easy to feel helpless in the face of what we know just this last week i mean the information that we have coming about uh, coming out about the, the treasonous nature of uh, our former president who held the highest office and has abused it to the highest potential uh, with uh, the, the, the stealing of documents that are primed for sale to the highest bidder. And uh, probably that has probably already taken place. It's unthinkable. And to think that half of our country, uh, speaking of the U.S., has not just supported this man in the face of all that we knew about him, but continued to support him in the face of all we know. And, uh, and, and people that are like him, um, uh, wanting to emulate that same kind of thinking, it's uh, it's, it's principally um, just unimaginable that this is the reality that we live in um, and that so many people support that. It's easy to become cynical. Susan Heitler, PhD, says this. She says, in my clinical practice, I primarily treat folks struggling with depression, anxiety, excessive anger, and marriage difficulties. Very often an underlying issue is that for one reason or another, uh, the client never quite grew up. Signs of emotional childishness include emotional ex escalations, blaming, lies, and name-calling. Someone who is emotionally childish may also have poor impulse control, need to be the center of attention, or engage in bullying. She knows better than anybody. And we see these things in many of the politicians that we see these days. This example that's being set for us by the powerful and the, the elite, it's, it's terrible. So we must uh, continue to remind ourselves of what we're actually called to be. Jesus himself, uh, when speaking to the religious elites, had many uh, parents bringing their kids to him to be blessed. Uh, to be prayed over. It says this in Mark 10, people were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly, I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Childlike while remaining mature is one of the most difficult uh, aspects of our existence to maintain the tension that exists there is challenging but that's what we're called to it's easy to become cynical uh, to, to war with each other to be petulant to bully uh, to antagonize to try and be right to be stubborn uh, it's difficult uh, to continue to find ways to be in awe of what is of our lives of the lives of those around us of creation uh, and uh, at all at the fact that God wants to be in relationship with us. Um, and out of that springs love and curiosity and ability to live in the eternal now. Uh, that will be a blessing not just to us, but to those around us. Um, so let's fight the urge to be childish and remember to be like children.